Now, yesterday I asked this question here, and it seems a few of you, or quite a few of you in fact, must have those fancy boats with wheels on them, because you're going to need them to get to that location up there. Now, let me explain. As you seem to know, a lot of the depths, those values on the charts, are recorded at what we call chart datum, which is when the tide is at zero, so worst case scenario. So they are depths, and we add our tide onto the depths indicated. So, example, that's 04, you can see. We add on 2.8, and the current depth there is going to be 3.2 meters. However, when the 2.1 is above has got a negative symbol underneath it, and it's in a green area, that means it sticks above, it's a drying height, it sticks above the zero tide by 2.1 meters. So therefore, today, we've got 2.8 meters of tide right now, so we must take away the 2.1, which is 0 0.7 meters, and that's how much depth you have in that area. You gotta make sure you get that one right. Do not make that mistake or be kind of embarrassing. And this is generally what the green area looks like in reality. It's the intertidal area. Please give us a like so I know you're enjoying these videos and I'll continue to make them.